Hello and welcome to my channel. If you watched my last video, you know I've been playing with the LoRa Mestastic setup. Since then, I've been testing a couple antennas and this is what I come up with. I'm using the Haltech LoRa 32 board for this as it's a little bit smaller and works better for a small embedded system. And this is the little antenna that comes with the stock device. Now it's apparently tuned to the 915 MHz frequency that works in my area. So I'm going to do the initial rain testing with that. Here's a crudely drawn map of my area and an estimated range of the initial antenna testing with the stock antenna that comes with the Haltech 32. After initial testing I was interested in trying a ground plane antenna so I bought an extension cord and went online and found uh, the basic calculator for a ground plane antenna and I built myself a ground plane antenna that works with the stock antenna. Now I'm kind of assuming that the the nut on this and the, the ferrule and everything is grounded or will be connected to the ground plane. If not, this is all for nothing anyways. Once completed, I placed the antenna at basically the highest point in my house, in my daughter's bedroom, hooked up the cord to the LoRa device and went off and did some testing. So on the map, my two main locations testing locations are the two red dots about northwest of my home location. All of the test locations will be basically consistent except for uh, I have to move around to find the edge of the signal range if it changes. So here at the edge of my service range uh, it will send a message but I've got zero signal. It's more or less the same as the stock setup without the extension without the ground plane. So at this point I see no improvement. So I decided to move the antenna outside. I have a metal roof and I'm under the metal roof where I had the antenna before so I was speculating that maybe that's playing with the uh, signal bouncing it towards the ground and playing with my range. So I moved the device outside and I'm powering it directly with the solar panel. Everything seems to work alright and yeah I mounted the whole thing to my chicken coop. So I'm back at the edge of the circle, now this footage is from the second location that's slightly farther away with slightly more density of homes between me and that location and I can more or less get the same signal about the same range, it might be a little bit less than it was before but not by much. Since being outside didn't seem to improve anything, I'm back indoors and I'm going to try this flat Wi-Fi antenna and I think it's 8 or 9 decibels. I hoping to see an improvement but it's not tuned to 915 megahertz so it's probably not going to be any real benefit. Once again back at the end of the range and I'm about 25 feet in from where I was and I got a slight connection it's not as good as I would normally have in this location and on another note I got a connection from another device that is one floor lower in my house and it has a better connection with a better line of sight so that's interesting. On the map here I plotted the range and you can see here it's noticeably different than the original. So with that being said the uh, tuning of the antenna is rather important. So with no real improvements and nothing but losses to show I did a little bit more research and I realized that with the cheap thin cable I'm using I'm probably losing more signal than I'm gaining. So from now I'm going to try and directly connect the antenna to my device which should improve any losses had occurred. And I tested the flat antenna's range and it's more or less the same, maybe slightly better. There's a bunch of inconsistencies I'm assuming due to weather and humidity and a bunch of different other variables. For the last test I'm going to use the slightly larger stock antenna that comes with some of the other LoRa devices. And again testing the edge of the range more or less brings me up to the original antenna. So I can't really see much of a discernible difference between the small antenna that comes with the lower device and the larger antenna that comes with some of the other lower devices. So to confirm my testing I went online found both of the stock antennas or at least something that's close and you can see here the larger one is 2.5 decibels and then when we swing over to the other one, the sh slightly shorter antenna, you can see that it is 2 decibels. So in practice, I can't imagine there's a huge difference between the two of them. 
as I'm trying to blast it through a bunch of houses and trees and a bunch of other stuff. So I basically lost mostly everything to the extension cord and see the best results with the antenna directly connected to the device. So with all that, I've come to the conclusion that the stock antennas are about the best antennas you're going to get for the money. So unless you spend like $100 on a large external antenna and a very high quality, very well shielded cable, you're not really going to see much practical improvement anyways. And that's about all I have for today. Moving forward, I'm probably going to avoid playing with antennas too much. I will just use the stock antennas directly connected to the devices and try and stick the device as high as I can in the air. With the cost difference between antennas and the device, I'll probably just add to my mesh network with more and more nodes as time goes on and hopefully expand so you know me and some of my family and some of my friends can communicate. At any rate, if you like this, click like. If you want to see more, click subscribe and I'll be back with more. Have a good one guys.